morning, neighbors. Good morning guys, today is the day we are finally putting the 570S to the test. It is absolutely freezing us up. I think it's uh, 32 degrees. I... <sighs> That's cold in California, okay? It's freezing, it's gonna be super hard to get these sticky boys warm, but we're gonna be testing out the 570 today. We got new brakes, new wheels, new exhaust, and new tires. This is gonna be a ton of fun if I can fill this car up. This has not been working, I don't understand. Very first track day in the 570 since we did everything to it. I think it still needs a couple of things, but today's gonna be an awesome, awesome test. I'm really excited to see how well these brakes work, if we can grip up with these new tires. Very, very excited for today. You ready, Tim? Uh, yeah, I'm It's getting, freezing. <laughs> I didn't even get out and I'm cold. Today is gonna be a good day. It's a very it's good day. Sick. We're here with the WR Technica crew. What up, Will? Yo. We've got a full squad today. This is gonna be sick. We got the McLaren here all set up and good to go. Very excited. GT2 RS, GT3 RSs all the way down. This is gonna be amazing. But it doesn't stop there, guys. Today, there are some like really, really good cars that I haven't seen at the track yet. There's a car here that's gonna make you cry. <laughs> Uh, I've already, it's already hurt me inside. Uh, we have an R34 GTR here today. I'm very curious to see if he's actually gonna, is he gonna track it? Will he do it? It looks like he's gonna help. That is freaking beautiful. <sighs> I miss mine so much. Hopefully we can travel to Japan again. This thing is beautiful. I love your car, dude. Hey, thank you, bro. I miss the R34 and the Evo so much, but I've actually been keeping up with the Evo. It's having a good life over in New York, so that's good to hear. The guy drives it all the time, gets spotted all the time, so it makes me happy to know that that thing is actually still on the road, and the guy, the guy that bought it is enjoying it. But I think it's time to get ready and, uh, and set some lap times, Tim. Yeah, let's get some times in. I'm just so stoked to actually test all this stuff out. It's gonna be so great. <laughs> Tim, what do you what do you think? I, I think it's gonna feel a heck of a lot better than stock. <laughs> Just a little bit different, guys. All right, this is gonna be our warm up lap here. Uh, I gotta get the tires hot. These are brand new tires, so I don't want to send it on these until. Again, just a little bit sticky, so we're gonna get a feel for the track, get my line down again, and uh, yeah, we'll send it after that.
this thing is absolutely terrifying. It takes a lot for the tires to grip, but once it gets hot, this thing is terrifying. I mean, we need to adjust the pressures because my rear tire pressure is at 41 PSI and 36 PSI. So I was drifting around corners. Terrifying. But I mean, going into turn eight, I'm 140 miles an hour. So, I mean, I, I'm 160 going down the straight still, but I, I think it's just because I don't have speed coming out of turn nine. But uh, this thing is freaking terrifying. I'm, I'm a little bit more confident in the car now. Still very scary. The brakes stop, like, it's insane. It's awesome. I just need to, I'm too scared. So like, I don't, I don't stop when I'm, I, I have more to go is what I'm trying to say here. But uh, getting a little bit more confident, the tires are definitely way more sticky now. We've given it some time for tire pressures to go down, so now I'm gonna go out and try and uh, set a time. We put a new aim in the car, so hopefully it reads this time. Let's do it. guys so while we're taking a little break from having the mclaren on the track not only an r34 here today we have a super sick r32 with lmgt ones Man, this thing is freaking awesome dude thanks my guy single turbo fully built engine as well what's all done in this thing yeah so we built the motor at d sport magazine uh mike ferrer is a good friend of mine it's a fully built 2.6 with a garrett gtx 3582r uh, Forge bottom end, built CNC ported top end, uh, the head's all done. Uh, it's making 750 on E85 oh. right now. Oh, yeah, dude, this thing is freaking awesome. It sounds so crazy. This is unlike any other, any other GTI that I've heard. That is super nasty low, and of course, the base I blew hard. Awesome. Thank you, man. Thanks. The last session of the day, I don't want to tear these tires too much. Uh, turn these tires up too much because we do have a track day at Button Willow coming up. I want to save these for that. So we're going to do one more lap. Last session, 
uh, the solo didn't record the time, so it's doing the same thing, dude. It's not like finding where we are. Oh, did it work? Get your phone out. Okay, we'll do it on the solo and on the phone just yeah. in case this doesn't work. One more session and uh, we'll be good for today. Let's see if I can get a little bit more confident, Tim. Gas from the trailer. This is insane. Of course, WR Technica helps us with all of our track setup, everything that we need to go to the track. WR Technica helps us out with setup recommendations, alignments, everything. They are great. If you guys are interested in tracking your car, I cannot recommend WR Technica enough. I'm leave their Instagram on the screen as well as in the description so you guys can check them out. You guys see us there all the time with the S2000 and now the 570S. Seriously, check them out, guys. All right, last session. purposes for next time when we do the actual alignment and setup and everything Will's gonna drive the car and kind of see what all of like what the car is doing it's oversteering understeering suspension wise all that stuff right Will that's right you guys so we'll see how it's gonna do and then uh, we'll tailor the car and the setup for Dustin it's gonna be awesome let's see what Will runs I've never sat passenger in this car is that right? It's my first time. I'm a little nervous here. Oh man, it's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> so I've been having a lot of problems with the suspension in this car. That's why I really want Will to test it out and see what I'm feeling. Will, you killed it. Hell yeah, we'll, we'll fix this oversteer, man. Yes, brakes are amazing. So it's for sure oversteering, right? Absolutely. Suspension is a little bit on the spin side, but that is, uh, you know, that is factory McLaren, so it's uh, hard to change that unless we do the whole coilover setup, right? So aside Oof. from that, I mean, uh, we, we just need to do some alignment on it for sure, and uh, we'll be ready for the next track event. Yes, that's what I like to hear.